Of course, we'll have to take the Fifth Avenue apartment. You probably wouldn't want to stay there alone anyway. Well, now we need the light. I've got 100,000 shares of stock. Your husband had to borrow against the stock to pay for the construction on your apartment. And we loaned him a considerable sum in addition to meet expenses his salary didn't cover. You think you're very clever, don't you? Trying to sweep the poor little widow under the carpet? <laughs> well, think again. I'm on the board of directors of this lousy company. Well, we assumed that with your husband gone, you would no longer want to be on the board. Al and I helped build Pepsi to what it is today. I intend to stay with it. We appreciate your devotion and contribution, Miss Crawford. But we have retired you from the board of directors. <laughs> Volume. I, I hope nothing. I, I hope no one. I know you and want you so. I'm just an old one. your time. If you're not, you're wasting mine. I'm not acting. Anybody? No contract. No studio. I don't know what I couldn't do. Sometimes when I feel afraid, I think of what a mess I've made of my. Forgetting all the bricks I've had in my life. I was put on earth to be a part of this great world as we and my life. Guess I'll just add up the score and count the things I'm grateful for. steal to his grave, and now you're trying to stab me in the back? Forget it! I fought worse monsters than you for years in Hollywood. I know how to win the hard way. Miss Crawford, we don't want any hard feelings. You don't know what hard feelings are until I come out publicly against your product, and you'll see how much you sell. Please, Miss Crawford. It's hardly necessary to make threats you surely don't mean. Don't fuck with me, fellas!
ain't my first time at the rodeo. You forget the press I delivered to Pepsi was my power. I can use it any way I want. It's a sword. Cuts both ways. Number one, Erica Andrews. 